Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have some motivational cleaning. I go through and clean my whole house after a weekend of a little bit of a remodel project. So I have washed the laundry all weekend and it's kind of a mess. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get some motivation. If you would, please uh, give me some feedback. Let me know whether I've sped the clips up too much or whether um, I've stayed on one thing too long because I know I do a lot of laundry. And um, I just would like to know what you think. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's get ready for some major laundry motivation and a whole house clean. I have been working on regrounding my shower for the last few weeks and uh, finally finished it and I'm now trying to get caught up on some laundry. I've kept the washer and dryer going but it has ended up in baskets and on the kitchen table, dining room table, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a big open room. So we're going to switch laundry out here and get another load started while I am folding the current laundry. This um, tile project that I have been working on has really been one of the hardest things I've done and not because it's removing the grout and regrouting, but because the people who installed the tile, which this was installed before we bought the house, did not use spacers. So the tools didn't necessarily fit in all the cracks, and so it just became a very tedious process. I do have some short video clips and some pictures. If that's something y'all would be interested in seeing, just let me know. Um, I just grabbed all the kitchen towels and the dishcloth and drying mat and I'm throwing those in the washer. So, um, of course, I'm washing my hands for the 500th time. And um, here we go. We're back to folding laundry. I fold a lot of laundry today. And laundry is my least favorite chore. I just took some things and put them in a room that they needed to go in so I can put them up later. And I'm just putting my kitchen towels and my cleaning towels away. And um, then I'm gonna grab some coat hangers. Nope, excuse me, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna attempt to fold this. I smelled it. Evidently I left it in the washer too long and it soured. So we're gonna rewash that in a little bit. Here's my blankets for the couches. I, um, I like to have a blanket. Uh, my husband likes to have a fan on, so I always have to have a blanket in there. And with our two dogs, they tend to get a little smelly, so I uh, got those washed up. And yes, I am refolding a load of laundry that had already been folded because uh, my husband and my son do not fold laundry the way I like it folded. I like to fold it using the Marie Kondo way of folding, which um, just takes up a lot less room and you put it in your drawers, almost like you put files in a filing cabinet, it's up on its end. And that way it can always see what's in there and it makes it a whole lot easier just to find things and keep your drawers sorted. I will put a link in the video to uh, the Marie Kondo book. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. I think I have it on audiobooks. But even with the audiobook, you do get the um, bonus material that has the um, PDF for folding clothes. I am grabbing hangers so I can hang these clothes up and then I will um, sort them out by person into stacks. My clothes, my husband's clothes, and my son's clothes. I think there may even be something of my daughter's in here, which she doesn't live with us, but she does laundry at our house. And I will take these clothes and I will put them on everybody's bed to be put away later. I do not put my son's laundry up. He is 18 and 
that's just something I don't do. I do not clean his room. You probably won't ever see his room because that's just his responsibility. I had put a sweater on the back of the chair to dry so it wouldn't shrink and I'm hanging a coat in the coat closet. This video is sped up uh, 500 times normal speed so that we could get through this. I think the original video was well over four hours and I have got it down to 48 minutes. I probably should have cut out some of the laundry but I thought maybe someone needed some definite laundry motivation needed to get that laundry caught up so here we're just gonna do it together um, folding the sheets that go on the bed my daughter was home over the weekend and for some reason instead of putting on them on the bed I decided I was gonna fold them and then go put them on there later but that's just beside the point that's just me being me I am fixing a cup of coffee um, in my Luke's Diner coffee cup, I drink coffee like Lorelai. If you get that reference, you are my people. Here I'm folding more cleaning cloths and dish cloths and washcloths. And I don't know how a beach towel got in there. Um, my son probably used it because he failed to put his towels in the wash. I will go ahead and put all of these away and I'm going to start another load of laundry. Well, no, I guess I'm just putting the basket up. I wish I could say we're done with laundry, but we're not. I have a whole nother basket. It's some white clothes and two tons of socks. I don't know that we had any clean socks paired because nobody in my house likes to pair socks. I end up uh, pairing most of them and I honestly think I edited out part of this just because there were so many socks. I did throw right many of them away because they were holy or mission, missing their mat, their their mat, their mate. But um, so let me know if you think I should have taken more of the laundry out, or whether it's something you enjoy, whether I talk too much. I really like your feedback. This is the first video that I have done a voiceover on. So any feedback that you would like to give would be greatly appreciated. If you just knew how many times that I have tried to record this audio and something's happened, either I have had uh, videos in the wrong order or one time I realized that when I did an edit, it undid my um, speed up. So I had to go back and do that. And it's just been a huge learning experience and just anybody that does this for a living, I mad props to you because it is not easy. The filming, yeah, that's not too bad. I kind of forget the cameras there sometimes. You'll see me looking up just to make sure I'm in the viewfinder because I have a bad habit of getting out of film. Or I will, um, you'll be just looking at my shoulder. So I do look up at it. I'm working on that. I'm trying to get new angles. I also um, realized that I did not take before and after videos, so I will work on doing that, um, but I just really would like your feedback. Just help me out. Let me know. Um, of course, be kind. Don't, don't be too harsh on me, but um, here we go. More laundry. I really at this point think that I'm never gonna get the laundry done. It's just never ending. I'm rewashing the sheet. I'm putting a little OxyClean in there. Let's see if we can get that smell out.
I think I should get everybody their so own sock basket and just make everybody pair their own socks. It would take a lot less time. I'm cleaning, this is the basket I keep the Mitch Match socks in that don't pair up. I'm going through pairing everything up. I have almost all the, I have all the laundry done except for just some random sheets and blankets and things that I found around the house. So I'm gonna go through and uh, throw away most of these socks. There are a few that are my daughter's and I'm leaving them there because she may have forgot them when she did her laundry last weekend. But for the most part, I'm, I'm throwing away old socks. I'm tired of seeing them every week. Since I paired socks, I'm going to wash the tablecloth because uh, that just kind of grosses me out. I'm a little bit of a drama phobe. I am, I will put the placemats back down just because uh, we do not eat at this table. And they're um, getting ready to go up for the season anyway. Alright, here we are on the bar. Here are some tools and an old light fixture that um, we put a ceiling fan up this past weekend. So that's the light fixture we took down. I'm gonna clean the bar off and then I will get um, my Norwex rags out. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Norwex, but they're infused with silver and they um, kill bacteria as they dry. Um, I don't use them on everything and I do like most Norwex products. I still use my bleach on my sinks. I still, you know, there are things that I just can't get out of my head. Um, me being the dermaphobe I am, I have to disinfect things. I still use my Clorox wipes. I, I, I just, I can't get it out of my head, but they do work really well. Um, they have just enough scrub and then they just make everything shine when you use the window cloth to dry it with. I do not sell Norwex. I am not sponsored by Norwex. Um, I do have a consultant. If you are interested, I can pass her information on to you. Just leave me a comment and I will get that to you. Here we are moving on to the bar cleaning off some more um, tools and supplies from our project and I'm gonna just get everything cleaned off. I cannot stand to have things on my counter. That is my pet peeve. Uh, if I could figure out a way to get my coffee maker in the pantry and get it at a functioning height where I could use it in there, I would. I just love to have clean, clear cabinets. It's just relaxing to me and I just, I enjoy it. I have to say that the biggest selling point on this house was the kitchen. I absolutely love, love, love my kitchen. It's a pain in the butt to keep clean because it's the room that you come into, so it kind of becomes the collect-all. People come in, put things down on the island, um, and with the white cabinets, I'm constantly walking around and getting off spills and drips and that kind of thing, um, but for the most part, I just I love it. It's bright and clean. I had to tie my shoes, so of course I'm washing my hands again. All right, I think uh, we're gonna unload the dishwasher now. I do have a, I don't know the year model of the dishwasher, but I have an ancient dishwasher. So everything in the kitchen's new, been redone, and the, I guess, probably original dishwasher is still there. It is a KitchenAid, and it is a workhorse. I absolutely love it. I have taken it apart and cleaned it multiple times. Um, there are actually pieces that you can't get anymore that my husband has zip tied back together. Yes, I'm looking to make sure I'm in frame. And, you know, I just, I love this dishwasher. It's not quite 
but it cleans better than um, most brand new dishwashers so but I love to bake so I'm also a kitchen aid person so of course here I am went to put something away the drawers a mess things are put in there they don't belong there so I'm straightening that up I kind of do that I, I get a little distracted and I will start one thing and then I have to reorganize it or you know you'll see me now I'm gonna reorganize the cups it's just me I like things like things to be together I just I like neat rows I have a few little OCD tendencies along with a little bit of ADD because I bounce from thing to thing. I have a hard time staying on one thing and getting it finished. I started to dry those, and then I was like, uh, no. I'll just let them dry mostly by themselves, and then I'll come back and dry them later. Plastic's just so hard to get completely dry, and I like to keep the lids on the, uh, the containers so that I make sure I don't lose any lids, and they just stack better. I put all the spices away and now I'm going to get everything ready and wash the dishes and put some stuff in the dishwasher. I have a whole list of stuff I do not put in the dishwasher. I had to, I walked around the house and picked up a few cups. So, um, but we're going to hand wash these dishes and then I'll dry them and put them away. Of course, I had to run to the bathroom and get the Clorox spray so that I can disinfect my sinks before I wash dishes, um, especially because we've been doing remodeling projects. Um, I probably wash something out in the sink and I just, I just like to make sure that they're really clean before I get started, especially with everything that's going on in the world today, which let's face it, I was a dermaphobe before then. I love those um, cookie sheets, but they have a rolled lip on them, so I was tipping them to get the water to run out from the lip so that they aren't dripping in the bottom of my drawer. I'm cleaning the seals for my metal cups. Um, one of them is a Yeti, but the other ones are just different brands. Um, but I put the lid itself in the dishwasher and I hand wash the gaskets so that they don't dry rot. And then once everything is clean and sterile, I put them back on before they go in the drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and move everything and wipe everything around while well, wipe around my sinks just to make sure I get out the excess water up. And I'm gonna wipe down the paper towel holder. It gets some water spots on it just because it's around the sink and I use paper towels a lot to dry my hands with because I have a bad habit of throwing my dish towels in the laundry after I'm done with them. I would guess it's a bad habit, except for it just creates a lot more laundry. And no, my microwave's not always this clean. I cleaned it the other day um, in a, another video. I'm not posting them all in the correct order, but um, my video, you know, my microwave's not always this clean. But I also threaten everybody if they didn't use a paper towel or something to cover their food too. 
you will see me messing with the front of the stove a lot. I love my stove, but I'm not a big fan of the buttons being on the front. I lean up against it, especially me being fairly short. If I'm trying to put something in the microwave or wipe the microwave out, I lean up against it, I mash buttons, turn burner, burners on. Um, we lovingly call it the spaceship because it's like a launch sequence to try and get it to work, I guess because it's on the front, but it's constantly beeping for some reason. I, um, I tried to lock all the um, buttons out on the front, but I still ended up turning the timer on and then I had to turn it off anyway. So you're getting ready to see another one of my ADD moments. Um, I start on the laundry and then realize um, that my laundry room's kind of gotten out of whack. And so of course I have to move everything and reorganize it before I can even fold a load of laundry. But, um, it didn't take but a minute, and it looked nice when it was done. There were bifold doors up in front of the washer and dryer, but when we redid the floor, we didn't put them back up. Um, my goal is to keep it clean and keep the laundry caught up so that we don't have to because it's not designed for a front-loading washer and dryer. So I end up opening the door onto the bifold door and I end up scratching the paint off. And so it's more of a pain than anything. So my goal is to keep the laundry room clean and organized, or should I say laundry closet, so that I don't have to put the doors back up. No, it's not always gonna look perfect, but nothing's ever perfect. So more hand towels and towels and all that fun stuff. I do need to go through my kitchen towels and dishcloths and cleaning rags and all that stuff again. Um, I'll probably do a video on that. I do random purging videos. I just finished um, recording uh, the closet at the end of the hallway with extra shampoos and medicines and that kind of stuff. So um, I'll get that edited and posted hopefully pretty soon. Um, still working on that editing. It takes me a little longer. But um, now we're back in my bedroom. I am putting my laundry up and as you see I turn my clothes up on its end so that it's easy to find. And I do promise I have other clothes other than yoga pants and tank tops. You just don't see them very often because I'm most comfortable in yoga pants and tank tops because I'm always doing something, starting a project, and um, for a while I was doing poor paintings and I would come in from work and I think half of my work clothes ended up with paint on them because I'd just come in and the mood would hit me and I'd start and I'd end up with paint on me. But So uh, now I just live my life in yoga pants during quarantine and if I get paint on my yoga pants I'm just not that worried about it. Do you see I'm hanging mine in my husband's clothes up. Uh, we do not have a lot of clothes. Even though it looked like it um, when I did what felt like 10 hours of laundry. Um, what do you see in that dresser and in the closet there that's our full wardrobe um we've been working on getting rid of some stuff and just not having seasonal clothes i layer i just um i don't see having a whole closet full of laundry i don't wear there is this little piece at the top of my window that didn't want to do right and i was trying to fix it and i've opened the windows I have to open the top and slide the screen all the way to the top because um, my dog likes to uh, try and get through the windows and she has messed up all the screens on the front of my house and I had to repair them and replace the actual screen. Okay, I forgot to edit that out, um, but it's just going to have to be okay. 
um, I am gonna dust my bedroom and I have decided that I really don't need this jewelry box it's not something I use so I'm gonna move it I'm gonna see about just having a little bit less sitting out in my bedroom and see how I feel about that I'm gonna give it about a week um, I just um, am trying to get away from clutter. For one, I just don't like to pick it up and dust under it. I'm trying to decide whether I wanted to put the pictures back on my husband's nightstand and I just decided that it didn't need it. So, um, here we go. I have decided that um, I'm gonna dust here. All the stuff on the right hand side of the uh, dresser there is stuff that I don't feel like I need in my bedroom anymore and I'm gonna just go down to one of these jewelry stands I don't think I need both I originally started out with three and this has just kind of been a slow process over many years of just trying to live with less um, I used to have lots of things and lots of clutter and I have found that I don't need a lot and I'm trying to decide whether I like this look or not, but um, just trying to have less clutter in my life. So um, anyway, you're going to view my journey of that, of me purging everything. So here I am. I am going to fold these sheets and I'm sorry, I have evidently uh, lost the, what I thought was the final version and um, they had some of these edits taken out, but we're gonna go with it. I'm not gonna let my perfectionism get in the way this time, only because if you know, you know, we've discussed how many times I've redone this audio, and I've redone the video many, many times also. So, <laughs> I went looking for the pillowcases to slide these sheets down into, and realized they were on my son's bed. So I just uh, put them in the guest room. I have a chest of drawers in there that I have all my extra linens in. I have one extra set of linens per bed in my house. And I'm just using my little stick back here to um, vacuum my floors real quick. I have a heavy duty, vati heavy duty vacuum that um, I use at least once a week, but this is just good enough for now, for just a quick clean. And I am back to the kitchen. We're gonna dry all these uh, plastic and glass food containers, and we're gonna um, put them away, and I will get distracted once again and redo one of the container cabinets. As you see, I dry them completely and make sure that everything has its lid. And I put the lids on everything. Here I'm putting the gaskets back on the lids for my metal cups. And one of them is still in the dishwasher, so I just stuck the gasket down in the drawer. go to put those glass containers up and realize that um, I wasn't the last person to put them up and the lids weren't on them and they weren't stacked properly and so of course I have to redo it all. I don't like looking for things. I like for them to be where they're supposed to be. collecting all the lids. I tried to put all the lids under there. Uh, that's not working because I have two sets of bowls stacked inside of each other. But if I do not put the black lids under the bowls, they kind of roll up and then they won't stay on the container. So I like to keep the pressure on them so that they actually work. Just 
just putting everything back together, getting my drying rack put up. Okay, it looks like I'm done with coffee for the day. Let's straighten up this pantry. This used to be a built-in office and it just became a collect all for junk. So we did some canning this year. Um, I did some canning with my friend. We have a garden together, so I needed some extra space. And I have two pantries. I'm trying to decide which one I'm gonna make more of a cleaning closet and which one is gonna be the actual pantry. Still haven't decided whether I'm putting doors up here or not. It's just kind of a little ongoing process. Um, but uh, I have food in both places. I've already hung the vacuum there, but I just, I'm not sure what, what's gonna work best for me yet. So I'm just kind of trying to move things over gradually. Trying to get it organized, figure out what's gonna work. I love these Dollar Tree baskets. Um, you'll see them around the house. I just hate the boxes because they take up so much room for um, like the crackers and things. So I'll take and put like items in these. I do not have them labeled. Um, might do that in the future. But you know, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly works where. Just trying to move everything over, find out what fits, kind of take inventory. I need to make a Sam's Club run, running out on, of some stuff. Wrapping the cord around my little vacuum and I'm going to hang it on the wall. Reorganizing appliances. I think we're done. Let's move to pantry number two. As you see, I'm taking some things and putting in the other pantry. And I'm just kind of going through, making sure everything's in date. Um, looking some stuff we may have tried and just didn't like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss it. I do not get through this whole thing before um, my card was full on my camera so it's gonna cut off in a minute and I do not have an end of the pantry but you know it pretty much you know other than the expired food and the stale stuff is gone it doesn't look all that different Just went and got a trash bag to dump the candy. We do not eat candy in my house. We'll buy it every once in a while or, you know, it'll come in something and we'll put it in the container, but nobody eats it. I guess that's a good thing. Okay, my card was full, so let's move on to my office, which somehow has become a collect-all. There's the container of Halloween decorations that I did not put up, Halloween and fall. So I'm gonna move that back up to the garage. Um, there's part of, the, of my vacuum, trying to get it out of the way. Got my yoga mat, keep it under the bed. I hung the camera with something and drag it with me. I don't even think I realized it. This used to be my daughter's room and um, it's just kind of trying to find its new identity. Um, I think we're going to put a full size bed in here. Uh, we actually borrowed this uh, 
twin bed from a friend during quarantine, the beginning of quarantine, my daughter's roommate was living with us before their apartment was ready. So, um, we gotta get that back to them sometime. I love this little rolling cart. Now, we had to modify it. I have no clue where it came from. But we put a, a board on the back of it to keep it more sturdy. But I have pens, pencils, tape, you know, just that kind of thing. I'm going through the mail that I have stacked up there. Most of it's junk. Gonna throw it away. And just trying to get everything sorted back out. I tend to um, stash and dash in this room which is what I call it when I just take things that I don't know what to do with or don't have a place for and just kind of shove it in here and go, yeah, I'll deal with it later. So I'm um, trying to get everything back out of here and back to its place. I've been cleaning carpets. I'm gonna clean off my desk now and I have realized how many times I say so and um I will work on that I promise I get ready in here I edit videos in here um, I have decided when I went to put something away that oh I don't clean my makeup brushes in a while so oh let's take those out I feel like y'all were getting a good insight into how my brain works. I see something and I have to do it then. The vanity um, was my grandmother's and it has had seen its better days. The veneer on top was peeling, the veneer was chipped off the front of the drawers and I took a uh, a week and I peeled all that off and I sanded it and I repainted it and it has become one of my favorite pieces I will uh, put a before and after picture on Instagram in case you want to see that uh, the before picture is a picture of it sitting in the basement of our old house but that's what it looked like before it moved from the basement of the old house out to the garage of this house and it just wasn't used until I um, refinished it. So I'm just going through some receipts that have fallen in the floor and straightening up a few things on this bookshelf that I really need to declutter and get rid of the majority of it. But I have found I have less hot spots, which is what I call um, my spots where everything kind of collects. So um, they're getting smaller. I try and stay on top of them and make sure that at least once a week I go through and put everything away that kind of collects. by no means a professional organizer but I do like for things to have a home and for things to go in that home I'm just grabbing things and going and putting them away in the rooms that they actually go in. I am just moving some stuff around on this bookshelf and I will dust it. I just want to make sure everything has a place and nothing has gotten put on there that doesn't go on there.
Here I am cleaning my makeup brushes. This is just a little container I got from the Dollar Tree with a little sponge I got from the Dollar Tree and a couple drops of Dawn dishwashing detergent and I just swirl them around in there on that sponge and just make sure they come out clean. I wipe them on a wipe. A wipe. <laughs> I wipe them off on a white uh, washcloth and uh, then I will take them into the bathroom and rinse them. You would think, with all the makeup brushes that I have, that I wear makeup frequently. I do not. Most of the time, you're going to see me just like I am in this video. Hair pulled back in a knot, no makeup, yoga pants, and a tank top, just because I don't see any point in doing my hair and makeup to then put it back in a bun and clean where the majority of the video you're not gonna see my face anyway but that's just me okay we got them all clean I decided that there was no point in trying to clean the um, makeup sponge in the um, dome that's not the easiest way to do that sorry my shoulder is all in this Evidently, this is the one that I lost the edits on, but we're going to just bear with me. So if you will take a bar of soap and um, rub it on your makeup sponge and then just get it really wet and just keep squeezing, it will look brand new when you're done. It works better than anything else I have found. And this is something I saw on YouTube. I wish I knew where I saw it. I would love to credit the person I saw, you know, that I originally saw this from, but um, it has been a, a game changer. So I'm also using the bar soap on this foundation brush. And now I'm trying to get the soap out. It did not come out at all. So um, I'll just rinse all these brushes off. And my makeup sponge and then I will clean my mess up a little bit make sure there's no makeup left in the sink wash this container out that I had used to make a face mask and here we're gonna take and just dry the makeup brushes get the excess water off and I'm gonna put them in this container to dry. And I'm gonna dry my containers and stick them back in the drawer with the sponges. Take my beauty blender right there in the center so it can dry. And I'm going to clean this off and turn it back into my desk. I'm going to finish off by just vacuuming this room 
and uh, then we're going to vacuum the hallway and as I vacuum the hallway I'm gonna vacuum the edge of the bedrooms and go ahead and run into the bathroom and vacuum it I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching uh, if you like it hit the thumbs up please subscribe and until next time bye